Saffron, I am so jet lagged. Please, nothing too intensive. <laughs> Maybe some light cardio. No, I'm some down refreshing. for that. Just anything that makes us feel good, yeah? Because okay. I'm making anyways. Okay, you promise? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So Valkyrie, welcome to What's in Your Locker. Hi. <laughs> so inside the locker, there's four different items that should all mean something to you, but you have no idea what they are. Yeah, right? I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't seen what's in this freaking locker. <laughs> I'm very excited and very curious to see what's in there. Okay, do you want to see the first thing? Yes, I, I open do. It or should I? I feel like you open it. Should I open it? Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> So is that this, a GameStop badge? It is. Yeah, so this means a lot to you, right? It does. It do That's crazy. You know, I actually still have my GameStop badge. That, really? Yeah, from when I used to work there. That's so crazy that you guys replicated one. That's <laughs> awesome. So when did you work there? Um, It was before I became a streamer. Mm -hmm. It was probably about 10 years ago now. Very wow. long time ago. Um, yeah, I worked there. I also worked at a bank at the same time. I was okay. finishing up community college as well. And um, then I started streaming and it, I realized it worked so well with streaming because I was like playing new releases. And mm -hmm. But did that get you into gaming or was you already into it beforehand? Oh no, I've been a gamer my whole life. My mom actually is the one that got me into gaming. So, wow. Yeah, so she like bought me an NES. Oh. I was probably about like five when I started wow. playing. So yeah, um, I just wanted to work at GameStop because I wanted to play games and have like a little discount, yeah, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. and then and I- And who would you say that girl is then compared to now? Oh my gosh, broke. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more broke, a lot more uh, stressed for sure, but. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still the same person. You still Definitely enjoy the, the same, same person yeah. for sure. I mean, it, gaming has always been a hobby, so mm -hmm. it's just kind of incredible that I got to do it for a living. Yeah. For so long now, 10, well, 10 years ago is crazy. But yeah. To be fair, I feel like when I go to the gym, it's the only time I do get to wind down. Like I really try and have a habit of not going on my phone in between sets. Really? Yeah. That feels because... impossible for me. <laughs> no, it kind of is. Like I can't say I actually do it, but like I try because otherwise like our job, we're always on our phone. Yeah. I feel like when I go to the gym, it's the one time I actually get to switch off, you know? Which is crazy for me to think about because I feel like that's when you would be most on because it's like your content, right? Yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, that's, I try. I try and have a balance when I'm in the gym. And actually, when I'm in the zone, I'm just in the zone. You yeah. Know? So, but how long wow. have you been into training? Oh my gosh, very inconsistently for like mm -hmm. probably four years. Yeah, it's been okay. really difficult to balance with my work because like I stream video games for a living. So it's complete opposite of a healthy yeah. lifestyle. <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of like figuring out the best way to like mesh the two together. Mm -hmm. It's been really hard. I feel like everyone goes through stages though. Like I do all the time. Like I have months where I'm so into it and then months where I'm like, I'm just gonna chill for a while. Really? <laughs> yeah, well like, oh my God, like a dream. months on end, but like, you know, I just go through stages where I'm like every day into it. And then I have moments where I'm like, I'm gonna chill a bit. How did you get into like, gym content were you always posting that did you lifestyle at first or like yeah well I always did lifestyle I guess it was hard to kind of do the transition but also I always went to the gym but I'm not gonna lie when I was younger I had no clue like about like what to actually do in the gym I love the idea of it but honestly <laughs> my mom laughs like I used to go with my friends this is when I was like really young like 14 right yeah and we literally just used to stand by the water machine and just like <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh. guys, we found it in the gym. <laughs> now I've got some knowledge. So yeah. then I started to like learn about it. And then I became honestly obsessed. And over time, I guess it's just my lifestyle now. So yeah. it wasn't too hard to like transition over. Was it one of those things where you just like posted like gym content and you noticed people were like loving it yeah. or something? Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. maybe I should keep posting kind of And thing. I think it was just like seeing like a normal girl that like was gradually like you know, learning and educating herself about the gym. And so yeah. I think people just related to it. So, yeah. but how about you? Cause I guess it's different for your followers it as well, right? It is very different. It's been so weird. Cause it's a completely different world, you yeah. know? Cause like when people think of gamers, they think of like 15 year old boys <laughs> that are like in their parents' basement playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I think it's, um, I've noticed like while doing like gym content, I'm like building more of a female audience, yeah, which I right. love. Mm -hmm. And just kind of like breaking that stigma that like, 
not only can girls play games, which I've been doing my whole life, by mm -hmm. the way, so it's like not something I've just like randomly jumped into, but also like gamers can be healthier in a yeah, way. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, so. Balance. And balance, balance. Which is so important in every area <laughs> of life, right? <laughs> so being on camera all the time, how has that like affected your self image? Do you think it's affected it like in a good way or a bad way? Oh my gosh, I, so I've been streaming for mm -hmm. like eight years, coming up to eight years now. So That's I think- That's how long I've been doing YouTube for. Wait, eight really? Years? Yeah. That, oh my God, we're veterans. I know. <laughs> um, I think it, it was really difficult at first, like kind of reading mm -hmm. negative comments and stuff and dealing with like sexist people. And mm -hmm. But I think I just became incredibly desensitized and realized like, you know, being on camera, like it helps people and inspires people. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of like accepted my fate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What and about you? Just got you? Used to it. Um, yeah, I guess the same. Like, I think you just get used to people commenting on your life. Critiquing like, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. And I think there's definitely been times where it's affected me, but also at the same time, like, I share, because I vlog my life a lot, you know, I film myself without makeup a lot and stuff. And actually, the response I get from that mm -hmm. is actually so nice. So oh, in yeah. some ways, it's actually made me more confident, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, But there's definitely times where it's like affected me badly and I've been like, ouch. So you do blogging content, right? And then yes. I also think you have a podcast, right? Yeah, and I have a podcast. Yeah, yeah. tell me about it. Uh, it's like a dating podcast. Mm -hmm. So it's actually called Sex Lies and DM Slides. So there's like... <laughs> There's a limit where like it can't be oversharing. Oh but it's really gosh. fun because I film it with my best friend. So mm -hmm. that's yeah, so it's cute. Really fun, so. Right, should we do the next one? Yeah. This is item do number two. Yeah. I feel like you need to read this one. Oh. Know what it is. oh my gosh. Yes, I know what this is. <laughs> this is literally my yeah. billboard. That, that was, is insane, yeah, by the that way. Was in New York on the largest billboard in America. Why don't you just show the app? Ah! Would you say that's one of your biggest pinch me moments? It definitely was one of them for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I know like... you probably have many, but like <laughs> that is that is what people dream of, right? Yeah, so. like being on a billboard in Times Square mm -hmm. and like being there in person with like a lot of my friends and uh, just seeing like all my supporters be so happy for me and like mm -hmm. my mom is like so happy. It's just crazy. Yeah. And like yes. other people taking pictures with it. I bet yeah. that's also Yeah, weird. like tagging like, me in the photos yeah, when you're yeah, posting yeah. it. And so oh. how was, did you, had you been with Gymshark long when you had done this or was this one of the first things you did with them? This was actually the announcement. Oh my gosh. It was so fun. And it's so hard to keep stuff like this a secret. I'm mm -hmm. so bad at like not sharing. Yeah, so, so when something I. like this comes mm -hmm. out, it's like very rewarding and satisfying. And did you have to keep it a secret for long? Too long, too long for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anything more than like a week is too long for me to wake. <laughs> like my agent knows, like I leak everything. <laughs> Thanks for dealing with me. <laughs> okay, Saffron, tell me oh, about- so professional, okay. Ev tell me about every single one of your accomplishments <laughs> since starting your career. I uh, wanna know it all. I've heard you were on TV, right? Yeah, I've done quite a few TV shows now. Mm -hmm. um, a few. Which is fun. Yeah, I, I'm like, I've actually done like, Probably done like maybe five TV shows. Yeah, I, there's not really many left for me to do in the UK now, so I've got to stop there. Wait, but, really? Um, yeah, I've done quite a few. I just actually filmed a really cool one, um, and it's really kind of long to explain. But essentially, you run like from like our version of like the FBI sort of thing. You're on the run for like days, mm -hmm. and that was really fun. Um, Wait, yeah, how I did guess. you get into that? Like, did people reach out to you? Like, did they find you through your vlogs and stuff or? Yeah, it was actually quite cool because at the time, I think like the US like is a bit further ahead than we were in the UK at the time. Mm -hmm. So the first TV show I did was called Strictly Come Dancing. And that's like your version of Dancing with the Stars. Wow. And at the time they had had one vlogger before me. Um, and that kind of like was so weird for us because no YouTubers had gone on a TV show like in the UK. Yeah. Um, so it was quite cool. I was the first girl to go on a TV show in the UK. Um, but yeah, I guess it was just from doing YouTube and then it's like a whole new world, right? It's like the new generation. So. Yeah, it's like more mainstream, like mainstream media. That's yeah. insane. But you've like gone on to doing like mainstream media stuff, right? Yeah, super. I feel like <laughs> it's really cool hearing you talk about this because um, I've also like done things that 
I feel like it was like a first for like the gaming world. Mm -hmm. I I was in uh, Forbes 30 Under 30. Wow, uh, and it's just so weird cool. that it, yeah, it's all through like gaming. I, Vogue Philippines, my that's issue like, just came that's out. Like one of my, honestly, that is amazing. Wait, really? You should be so proud. Yeah, I feel like it's insane. coming up for you since you're doing all this television <laughs> I <just> stuff. Manifest it. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I cannot believe that. So when it comes to like oversharing, you mentioned that you do that on your podcast a lot. What like what kind of stuff do you overshare? Like obviously you're talking about dating because it's yeah. in the title of your podcast. Mm -hmm. Like, do you just straight go into it or like what? Like, yeah, so a lot of our podcasts, like we have guests on, so we speak about their dating life probably mm. more than our own. But obviously like we can't not sit there and not talk about our dating life. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like we definitely, we're pretty open, but I actually find it really hard, like the balance, cause I've like been through a stage where I thought to myself, so I used to vlog every day for two and a half years straight. No way. Well, I missed two days out of two and a half years. Yeah, what does and that do so, to your mental? Well, what? this is the thing. Like at the time, it didn't even feel like. Now I look back, and I was, I'm like, you were crazy. Like, how did you do that? Yeah. And I stopped doing it because I felt like I got to a point where I overshared. So I was like, the one thing I'm not gonna overshare mm -hmm. is like my dating life. But now I have this podcast, <laughs> so I'm like, how do I actually get the balance of the two? Yeah. Um, so I actually really struggle. Like with what to keep private. Like, I feel like I'm still learning that. I'm still wow. trying to figure that out, like what is too much to overshare and what I should keep yeah. to myself, you know? Honestly, I completely understand that because I definitely overshare too much as well. I, um, back in the day, I had a public relationship and mm -hmm. I recognized like when we broke up, like, oh my gosh, these people are crazy. Like they just like make up the craziest rumors and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't think I want to go through that again. Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't think I want people to, you know, make assumptions and stuff. It's well, just yeah, so unhealthy. Well, yeah, and also it's not just your life. It's like their life. Someone well. else's. Someone else's, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's the, that's the biggest problem, right? Yeah. Okay, this is item number three. Yeah. Do we have? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cutest little flag I've ever seen. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so um, this is your roots, right? This is where. Yeah, so I'm actually half Filipino. Mm -hmm. Filipina, but yeah, my mom is from the Philippines. Do you feel pressure to represent like the Filipino community or? Oh, I, I don't feel pressure. I do feel pressured to sing though, because Filipinos <laughs> love singing. And How I just, sing? I do know, I mean, oh. I can sing like I can do it, but <laughs> can I sing well? No, not really. <laughs> but yeah, Filipinos love karaoke and stuff. And like people just assume, oh, you must be good at singing. I'm like, <laughs> not so much though. So like YouTube is like a super male dominated place and I imagine even more so like with streaming. So oh how God. do you like manage that? Like how do you feel about that? Oh you know? gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been weird because I've been gaming my whole life. And mm -hmm. so, you know, when I start growing up and I start hearing like, oh, like gaming's not for girls. And I'm like, how is that possible? I've been doing it forever. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I just feel like I, my generation like started with gaming. Mm -hmm. And so I recognize that there are a lot more people, like females gaming than people recognize. And they yeah, start like yeah, coming yeah. out of the shadows when they see like girls streaming and like girls becoming co-owners of like organizations and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like, it was really hard at first because yeah. I, I felt like, you know, this it's a lot easier for people to be rude and sexist online when they're anonymous and stuff. But when I started seeing that, like I'm inspiring girls and mm -hmm. inspiring people that, you know, they can do this kind of stuff for like a career. Yeah, and do, yeah, yeah, you know, it's just, I don't know. I feel like I, it's kind of like, feels like a purpose to me now, mm -hmm. like kind of setting like a good yeah, role have, model. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah so I think that's what keeps me going and keeps me doing it. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be able to at all. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for like fans and stuff, like coming yeah, up to me course. and telling me like, hey, like you changed my life kind of thing, so. Oh, okay, last one, are you ready? Yes, yes, okay, this is the last item, and it is, oh my gosh, <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> so this is the game that, yeah, who is this guy first? This is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life, <laughs> I think, uh, but this is, this is a, an Among Us character, mm -hmm. and this is the reason why I blew up, like blue blew up the second time during the pandemic mm -hmm. was because of this game. Yeah, because I don't like really watch people that stream, but yeah. I saw everyone playing this game. Oh, like, really? It was such a big deal, yeah. Yeah, I think this game just popped off at a crazy time because it was just 
during a pandemic, so mm-hmm. everyone are is at home. Yeah. Like people are not at school. People are not at work. And so a lot of people are online watching this game. And this game has up to 10 players. And so like 10 other creators would collab, mm-hmm. essentially. And it's like a mystery type game. Like you try to figure out who the killer is. So it's, right. it's replayable. It was easy to watch. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it made everyone just blow up at yeah. the time. So yeah, wow. that was... I played this game, I have like over 500 hours in this game in eight months, so it definitely was life-changing. Like yeah, this yeah, game yeah, yeah, allowed sure. me to have opportunities I would have never had before. And didn't you play this game with lots of famous people as well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we did. How was that? Who did you oh play with? Oh my gosh. Where do I even, okay, okay. There's, um, let's see, PewDiePie, I don't know. Yeah, if... yeah, yeah. Yes. He's actually from where I'm from. So. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, so PewDiePie, played it with him. Played it with Mr. Beast, um, James Charles. He's wow, played okay. it for. Did you play um, with Jimmy Fallon? Yes, Yay, yes. Yeah, yeah. And Bretman Rock. Just all these people that don't normally play games were able to like play this game because mm-hmm. it's so easy. It's like a party game, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That anyone could like just play if they mm-hmm. wanted to. So, and if you could play with anyone that's famous, who would you choose? If there's anyone in the world that you could play with, who would you Before you even choose? finish that question, <laughs> in my head I was like, Zendaya! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, okay, Definitely. that's a good person. Oh yeah. my gosh, I feel like that I feel like she would be down, honestly. I know, I feel like <laughs> we were so close to playing with like Ariana Grande or something, you know, because oh, like wow, at yeah. the time, like everyone, this game's like popping off, mm-hmm. and um, I just feel like we were so close, but no, still It, it can still happen, it's just a new game. Need another pandemic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so there's stickers down here? There is. Oh, there's they're stickers cute. down here. And we're going to be the first people to make a mark. I haven't seen the stickers. Oh, yours is. Do you just love coffee? <laughs> I just, love, just you know, I love Starbucks. Starbucks. So oh, my God. We'll gosh. take it as I love Starbucks. Oh, What's yours? Mine just says Valkyrie. Oh, but that's we had cute. like this. Um, Y2K themed baby tea that was made for me mm-hmm. um, during our shoot yesterday, and this is kind of similar Aww. to it, so I thought it was really, really cute. Cute. All right, so we're the first the ones to stick this on yeah. this locker. So I think we do it right by the handle so everyone sees it every time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need to make our mark. Okay, right, should I stick mine on? Yeah, go for it. I'm just like struggling to peel this. Okay, <gasps> Look at that, it's so cute. Imagine when this is actually full. Yeah, I can't believe mm-hmm. we're the first. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> You're I wasn't right joking when I was there. like, I'm sticking mine right there. I'm going straight up right in the middle. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a good place. Cute. Love that. Well, that's what was in my locker. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And be sure to watch the next one. Bye.